will not put up with. So for instance, in The Last Girl, if she really was really seriously, the, in, the religion thing was a serious deal breaker, she would say, no, I'm only dating Christian guys and stay Before in the Christian house. So That's what time. I mean, you need okay. to make the five things. So you're making your five, now you're weeding out, let's say you're online, and you're, you know, you're on match, and you're weeding people out. You need to make sure these people don't have the five things that are deal breakers, okay? So, you know, you're gonna need to do research. Look, for years, men have been researching us. Why aren't we researching them? Why is it we take any guy that comes along? We are not desperate, we make, actually we make more money than them, we just don't make equal pay for the dollar because that's the fucking man rules the world, okay? But we are more in college than ever. Why not investigate who you're dating? What is wrong with that? I don't understand people. What about times. the guy that comes up to you and say you're out? Like, okay, you're then you like gotta use your six degrees of intuition, which is very, you know, you have to use your psychic ability, which we all have. We know when something says no, and we don't know why we said no. We just go, doesn't feel right. If it does feel right, it means no. When in doubt, as Oprah says, no, no, no. So don't go out with him because he's cute. He's probably got three fucking other women. He's probably got 70 kids, you know. He's paying off four mortgages. You don't want somebody like that. You gotta do your research. And one other thing, you must spend time with this person. The key is, you gotta see him weekly. If you don't see someone weekly, they have another lover. That's all there is to it. Consistency with everything. That's the major thing with men. If men are creatures of habits, they go to the same places to eat all the time, they go to the same gym at the same time, if they're morning guys and they hit the gym before work, five o'clock, you're gonna see them every fucking day, like five to six days a week. They don't change their mojo. You know, women are get bored and we do other things. They don't. Same hairdresser for 19 years to cut their ugly ass hair, which you're always going, why don't you go to an expensive place? Why don't you go to Supercuts, you know? Right? So you gotta get to know these guys. Like, what are what is their MO? Eddie, we're double teaming you. This is